is pretty much tops among midsize SUVs when the road beneath isn't actually a road. That said, there's a difference between being capable of performing a task and being purpose-built to master it, and while every Wrangler is born to play in the dirt, none of the ten yes. Different Grand Cherokee models offered for 2016 were configured specifically for the activity, upon which Jeep built its brand. Such a model seems like a no-brainer, if for no other reason than to give in drivers something to move up to. But more important, it would nod to Jeep avid off-road enthusiasts, some of whom may be aging, adding offspring, or for whatever reason might find a bit too Spartan. Jeep certainly has had the know-how, and most of the existing parts, to build such a thing all along, and it came to pass with the unveiling of last spring. Now, we've tackled trails in one, drove it to our west coast base, and conducted our instrumented testing. This isn't the first time Jeep has offered the Grand Cherokee in Trailhawk form. Such a version you boasting the Grand Cherokee's most sophisticated off-road components, a generous but not lavish level of creature comforts, and stylistic flourish as equivalent to jeans and a flannel shirt, at around $42. Oh oh oh, the 2013 price was reasonable enough that folks who spend their weekends in a tent by a campfire still might afford it but the Trailhawk quietly disappeared when the facelifted 2014 model arrived. As before, the Trailhawk starts with the best off-road gear in the Jeep Pantheon. The Quadra Drive 2 four-wheel drive system with its two-speed transfer case and select terrain dial, along with an electronically controlled limited slip rear differential, hill descent and ascent control, HDC, A, 